Okay folks, welcome to the Moz42 channel, I'm Moz and today I want to show you and review a little bit of a review on the um, camera gear that I use for um, for my YouTube work so we'll talk more about that after the intro So yeah, as I mentioned, um, I want to show you the my camera gear that I use on the bike for yeah, videoing my rides and all that sort of stuff. So here's my kit. Have a look. All right, that's the kit. That's my cameras. What we've got here first up. This is a Sony HDR AZ1. That's that one there. That was the first one I bought in 2016 and I used for my first road trip down through New South Wales at the same time I bought the extra batteries so that's one come with it two extra batteries with their charging pods and a waterproof case for the bike that's what I use then um, the following year I knew I was going on another road trip down through New South Wales and I wanted to add extra cameras so I got this one, which is a Sony HDR AS200V. Again, bought three batteries with it and a waterproof case so, to protect it. At the same time, I also bought the GoPro 4 Hero 4 Sessions and its um, protective waterproof case. And exactly a year ago this month, as a matter of fact, within a few days of uh, recording, I bought the GoPro uh, Max 360. Originally bought two batteries and then subsequently bought another two batteries and that's the charger that came with the two battery set. I'll talk more about that in a minute. So that's the kit in its entirety. I'm just going to talk about and do a bit of a review on it um, for your good folks out there. The, uh, the first one I bought was the AZ-1 Sony in uh, 2016 uh, as I mentioned just before my I did a road trip through New South Wales that year and that was the only camera I had you can if you want to go back and have a look at my playlist you'll you'll see my my road trips on my channel good little camera uh, it served me really well the um, it's a HD so it's not a 4k or anything like that it's a HD and I've got three batteries and two of them, as I mentioned, with the, with the charging pods. And they're still going strong. I'm getting about, I used to get about an hour and 10 minutes out of them. I'm getting about between 50 minutes and an hour at the moment. And that's not bad for a for battery that's what, nearly eight years old. The next one, the AS, AS200V Sony. I wanted a few extra cameras uh, for my subsequent trip in 2017 so I, I picked up the the uh, that camera again with the three batteries and they're all going strong still and at the same time I bought the little GoPro Hero 4 Sessions oh, that's been a pretty good little camera um, the only thing uh, oh, I don't like about it is it hasn't got any batteries it's the battery's internal, you've got to recharge the camera itself, so when it goes flat, you can't just swap a battery over, you've got to recharge it, and, well, which takes its time, but in all, it's starting to show its its life, uh, I was getting some good value out of it uh, before, uh, probably a little over a, an hour of battery life, it's down to about between I think it's about 45 minutes to 55 minutes, something like that, somewhere in there. So it's still going all right. Um, I don't know what I'll do when the battery is dead. I don't know whether you can change the internal batteries or not. If you have any ideas, hey, leave it in the comments below. Let me know if it's possible. The one I really want to talk about <coughs> is the GoPro Max 360. I was after a, um, a 360 camera to have a bit of a look around and you know you look up everyone that's got one and does reviews and 
I was looking between it and the Insta360s and all the reviews on either side were good. I made a call and I went for the Max 360. A few things with it, the video quality, even though it's, I think it's 2.5K or 2K or something like that. The video quality is nowhere near as good as the, the Sony's. Have a look at, at this. So as you can see, the, the Sony's, which are a lot older, are, st are providing, and they're only HD's, are providing a better, clearer picture than the, the 360. Maybe it's because, I don't know, you have to, the, the thing has to splice the two videos together and it loses a bit of quality or something like that. I don't know. If anyone out there has got an idea on how I can get the video quality up on it, hey, let me know in the comments. So that was a little disappointing, I would have thought, considering is it, it is only 12 months old. The batteries, you saw when I showed you before, there's four batteries. I've got four batteries. I started off with two. And they start and they start to go downhill. First one, well, what I should mention is when you're uh, downloading the the video from the GoPro 360, and I, I use a, a, a tablet and I download it to the tablet. You got to have the battery in, and because it takes so long, you got to have the power connected to it at the same time, so that you've got power there to last. It the distance to go through and while it's doing that it's also charging that battery but here's the thing it heats up it heats up to the, the battery so much that the first battery I had actually did this I'll, I'll just show you the battery is warped it bulges each side and I had a hell of a time getting it out of the um, out of the camera. I was really worried it was going to be stuck in there for good but I managed to to get it out and that was it. It's, there's no way I'll put it back in that camera because I'm sure if it swells anymore I'll never get it out. So batteries on these are an issue. So that one's dead. I ended up buying a replacement for it. But out of the other two that I have, the oldest one, which is when, the one I bought when I got the camera, it's deteriorating quite quickly. I used to get about an hour out of the, the battery. Now I'm lucky to get 40 minutes and it's only a year old. The Sony batteries are, you know, eight and seven years old and I'm still getting good life out of them. So they deteriorate pretty quick and considering the amount you pay for them, I think that's very disappointing. So I've got another two batteries and I'll rotate the three with the camera. When I'm downloading now, what I do is I set up a little desk fan blowing air across the camera and that helps keep it cool and not warp the batteries. Although, yet yeah, one of them, it's starting to warp. I can, you can see, I can see a little bulge, but it's still getting it in and out of the camera okay. So, yeah. Very disappointed in the battery qualities. Um, I was going to try some aftermarket batteries and, and see how they go. Um, if anyone, again, if anyone knows anything about it and they can help me out, just leave it in the comments below. Um, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm not going to go and buy an, an Insta360 at the price of you know six, seven hundred dollars or whatever it is. While I've got that, I'm, and I'm not about to sell that to anyone, knowing what I know about it. It's disheartening because they're only the oldest battery is only 12 months old, and it's dead. It's stuffed. And again, with the the Sony batteries, these little suckers. These are excellent and they're servicing me quite well. So there's my kit, that's what I use. There's my thoughts on the uh, on the GoPro Max 360. Uh, if I had my time over again and I knew what I know now, I probably would have went the Insta360. 
So that's it in a nutshell. Um, hope you got a few ideas from that and hope you got some ideas for me as well. So, uh, hey, until next time, and I'll see you all on the far side. Take care. Cheers.